This is Mamuni. Thank you so much for being Amar Baba Ma. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss how to solve a double column cash book with cash and bank columns plus contra entries. So let's get started. Chalo, shuru kora jak. Please remember, cash book be it a single column or a double column or a triple column. always records cash transactions and no credit transactions please remember all cash receipts are recorded on the debit side in the cash column and all cash payments are recorded on the credit side in the cash column okay and all checks received are recorded on the debit side in the bank column and all checks paid are recorded on the credit side in the bank column okay and please remember cash column represents cash account and bank column represents bank account okay now let's go through the problem here is the column of debt here is the column of transactions here is the column of amounts so what is the first transaction 2022 on 1st march Commence business with cash twenty thousand. So what will be the journal entry? The journal entry will be cash account debit to capital account. What is the position of cash account? Since cash account is on the debit side, capital account will also be on the debit side. So we'll have to write to capital account in the cash book on the debit side in the cash column twenty thousand. Okay, and please remember since we are preparing double column cash book. with cash and bank columns we we'll only have to look at the positions of cash account and bank account okay so let's write so on 1st march to capital account 20000 in the cash column because commences business with cash okay let me write the narration being cash introduced as capital okay moreover cash column represents cash account here when the proprietor introduced cash into the business from the business point of view cash comes into the business so 20000 will be debited okay now let's see the next transaction the next transaction is on 5th march open the current account in a bank and deposit it into the bank 15000 that means cash deposited into bank so this is a contra entry what will be the journal entry when is when cash is deposited into bank the journal entry will be bank account debit to cash account 15000 so this is a contra entry since we are doing a double column cash book with cash and bank columns so here are two columns cash column and bank column see when cash is deposited into the bank the journal entry will be bank account debit to cash account so this is a contra why because a contra entry is a transactions which involves both cash and bank Tra both debit aspect and credit aspect of a transaction get reflected in the cash book a contra entry is a entry which affects both bank account and cash account as well what are the two types of contra entries one is bank account debit to cash account and another one is cash account debit to bank account apart from this two contra are hoy na understood only cash account and bank account ti contra hoy hoy bank account debit hobe cash account credit hobe or debit cash account hobe credit bank account hobe since there are two columns in this cash book cash column and bank column understood since ei khane dutoi column, column ache ki columns cash column and bank column she jonno duto column i affect hobe so this is a contra entry bank account debit to cash account so what is the position of bank account and what is the position of cash account so we have to look at the position of two accounts so bank account to cash account so amra prothome bank account er position debo since bank account is on the debit side cash account will also be on the debit side how much 15000 so let's write on 5th march to bank account debit to cash account How much? Fifteen thousand. 
please remember where to record 15000 always remember even if you don't know the logic tumi jodi cash account ekhane lekho you can't write cash account er column me 15000 if you write bank account here you can't write 15000 in the bank column tumi cash account likhecho tai tumake 15000 bank account e likhte hobe even if you don't understand the logic please remember this way since we have written cash account we can't write 15000 in the cash column we have to write 15000 in the bank column and if you understand the logic see bank column represents bank account bank account comes under personal account according to personal account the receiver of the benefit is debit here when cash is deposited into the bank bank is the receiver of the cash and moreover bank balance is increased so 15000 will be debited bank account will also be debited so this is the reason 15000 tumi jokon bank e deposit korcho bank column e to ash so according to personal account the receiver of the benefit is debit so here bank is the receiver of cash 15000 so bank will be debited so this is the reason 15000 is in the bank column so let me write down the narration being cash deposited into the bank tumi jodi kono bank e current account open karo it means you are depositing cash into the bank okay so cash deposited into the bank okay and always we have to write c in the ledger folio column or lf column please remember contra entries are always denoted by writing the letter c in lf column or ledger folio column on both sides of the cash book okay contra entries can you like the hoy since they represent that no posting in respect of cash account or bank account is necessary in the ledger okay see the net, what was the journal entry journal entry was bank account debit to cash account how much 15000 15000 okay contra this is key contra entry contra entry amra kar position dekhlam bank er position since bank account is on the debit side cash account will also be on the debit side jokhon tumi two cash account likhbe amount should be in the bank column not in the cash column thik ache now we'll have to see from the position of cash account since cash account is on the credit side bank account will also be on the credit set so we'll write at 5th march by now we'll see from the position of cash account since cash account is on the credit side bank account will also be on the credit side so we'll have to write by bank account in the cash book on the credit side in the cash column 15000 so by bank account how much 15000 and we'll also have to write c in the ledger folio column okay c stands for contra okay now see i mean by bank account likhechi i have already told you by bank account likhle tumi bank account er column e likhte parbe na this is the rule so we'll have to write in the cash column but there is a logic behind this also since cash column represents cash account according to cash account what goes out is credit here when cash is deposited into bank the cash goes out from the business J moment to me cash deposit kolle bank e ki holo cash chole galo so according to real account what goes out is credit when you depositing business cash into the bank cash goes out from the business so cash account will be credited here cash balance gets reduced and bank balance gets increased that is the reason bank is debit and cash is credit understood so 15000 will be credited okay so let me write down the narration being cash deposited into bank okay now let's see the next transaction the next transaction is on 10th march for the capital introduced rupees 10000 out of which 8000 deposited into bank tar mane ki for the capital introduced korechi amra koto 10000 so out of 10000 8000 amra deposit korechi bank e capital hisebe 
আর টু থাউজেন্ড আমরা ক্যাশ হিসেবে ক্যাপিটালে এনেছি সো হোয়াট উইল বি দ্য জার্নাল এন্ট্রি দ্য জার্নাল এন্ট্রি উইল বি ক্যাশ অ্যাকাউন্ট ডেবিট টু থাউজেন্ড টেন থাউজেন্ড মাইনাস এইট থাউজেন্ড টু থাউজেন্ড ব্যাঙ্ক অ্যাকাউন্ট ডেবিট এইট থাউজেন্ড টু ক্যাপিটাল অ্যাকাউন্ট টেন থাউজেন্ড ওকে টু থাউজেন্ড প্লাস এইট থাউজেন্ড টেন থাউজেন্ড সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য পজিশন অফ ক্যাশ অ্যাকাউন্ট সিন্স ক্যাশ অ্যাকাউন্ট ইজ অন দ্য ডেবিট সাইড ক্যাপিটাল অ্যাকাউন্ট উইল অলসো বি অন দ্য ডেবিট সাইড সো উইল হ্যাভ টু রাইট টু ক্যাপিটাল অ্যাকাউন্ট ইন দ্য ক্যাশ বুক অন দ্য ডেবিট সাইড ইন দ্য ক্যাশ কলম টু থাউজেন্ড ওকে সো লেটস ট্রাই অন টেন্থ মার্চ টু ক্যাপিটাল অ্যাকাউন্ট টু ক্যাপিটাল অ্যাকাউন্ট হাউ মাচ টু থাউজেন্ড ইন দ্য ক্যাশ কলম টু থাউজেন্ড ক্যাশ ইন্ট্রোডিউসড এস ক্যাপিটাল বিং ক্যাশ ইন্ট্রোডিউসড as capital now we'll have to see from the position of bank also what is the position of bank since bank is on the debit side capital account will also be on the debit side see to capital account so what will be the amount 8000 okay 10000 additional capital lene chilo tar moddhe 2000 cash eneche ar 8000 cash at bank ache capital er jonno okay since cash column represents cash account cash account comes under real account according to real account what comes in is debit here when the proprietor introduced cash as capital cash comes into the business from the point of view of the business so cash account will be debited so 2000 will be debited understood here when the proprietor introduced 8000 as capital though the capital is in bank more of a bank column represents bank account bank account comes under personal account according to personal account the receiver of the benefit is debit here when the proprietor introduced 8000 as capital into the bank bank is the receiver of 8000 bank is the receiver of money so bank will be debited so 8000 will also be debited okay so let's see the next transaction on 16th march purchase goods from ravina on credit 28000 but this will not appear in the cash book because cash book be it a single column or a double column or a triple column does not record credit transaction okay instead we'll write a short note below the cash book so what will we write let me show you so we'll write note 1 there will be no journal entry in the cash book for the credit purchase of goods from ravina on 16th march 2022 since cash book records only cash transactions and no credit transactions okay now let's see the next transactions the next transaction is on 18th march paid to ravina by check 18000 so what will be the journal entry the journal entry will be ravina account debit to bank account 18000 what is the position of bank account since bank account is on the credit side ravina account will also be on the credit side so we'll have to write by ravina account in the cash book on the credit side in the bank column 18000 okay so let's write 18th march by ravina account since paid to ravina by check so it should be in the bank column 18000 being check paid to ravina okay moreover bank column represents bank account bank account comes under personal account according to personal account the giver of the benefit is credit here when check is paid to ravina bank is the giver of check so bank account will be credited and 18000 will be credited okay so let's see the next transaction the next transaction is on 18th march discount received on 18th march when we paid to ravina by check 18000 ravina has given us discount 500 we have received discount 500 from ravina but discount received rupees 500 
will not be recorded in the double column cash book with cash and bank columns why because there is no discount column had it been a double column cash book with bank column and discount column we would have easily recorded 500 in the discount column on the credit side but here since we are preparing a double column cash book with cash column and bank column and there is no discount column we are unable to record discount receipt had it been a triple column cash book also with cash column bank column and discount column we would have easily recorded this discount receipt on the credit side in the discount column 500 but here we are unable to record discount receipt 500 because we are doing double column cash book having cash column and bank column only okay so where to record discount receipt since there is no discount column so this discount receipt will not be recorded in the cash book instead we'll have to write a short note for this below the cash book so let's see what we are going to write so we'll have to write note 2 discount receipt rupees 500 will not be recorded in the cash book since there is no discount column in the cash book okay so let's see the last transaction the last transaction is on 20th march office furniture purchased 5000 so what will be the journal entry the journal entry will be furniture account debit to cash account 5000 so what is the position of cash account since cash account is on the credit side Furniture account will also be on the credit side. So we'll have to write why furniture account in the cash book on the credit side in the cash column 5000. Now you can ask me why we are looking at the position of cash account and bank account and not furniture account. Our mother shop 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 cash book and our column is our cash column and our bank column is our cash account position and bank account position. Our cash book is furniture account column. Okay, so we have to position the cash book. Okay, so let's write on 20th March buy furniture account buy furniture account how much office furniture purchased in cash 5000 so it should be in the cash column bank column dash being furniture purchased for cash okay and moreover cash column represents cash account cash account comes under real account According to real account, what goes out is credit. Here, when office furniture is purchased, cash goes out from the business. So, cash account will be credited and 5000 will also be credited. Understood? Now, let's calculate the total of cash column on the debit side and the total of cash column on the credit side. So, the total of cash column on the debit side is 22,000 and the total of cash column on the credit side is 20,000. So, what is the rule? Rule which is jeta borrow, she total te amadir on the both sides so we'll have to write the total of debit side 22,000 since this is bigger than the total of credit side which is 20,000 okay so there is a shortfall on the credit side since the total of cash column on the credit side is 20,000 and the total of cash column on the debit side is 22,000 so we'll have to write buy balance CD buy balance CD how much Column. The total of cash column on the credit side is 20,000 and the total of cash column on the debit side is 22,000. So if you deduct 20,000 from 22,000, you'll get 2,000. So this buy balance CD will be 2,000. So this 2,000 is the closing cash. The date will be the last in the month of March, 31st March. Okay. Similarly, we have to calculate the total of bank column on the debit side and the total of bank column on the credit side. Okay. The total of bank column on the debit side is 23,000 and the total of bank column on the credit side is 18,000. So we have to write whichever is bigger. Tale kon side bigger? Debit side, which is 23,000. So this is the rule. So 23,000 we have to write on both the sides. So there is a shortfall on the credit side in the bank column also. So what will be the balancing figure? The total of bank column on the credit side is 18,000. And the total of bank column on the debit side is 23,000. So deduct 18,000 from 23,000 will get 5,000. So what is this 5,000? So buy balance CD in the cash column is 2,000. And the buy balance CD 
in the bank column is 5000 so 2000 is the closing cash in hand and 5000 is the closing cash at a bank okay and now this buy balance ad will be brought down on the debit side we need the debit total two balance bd same amount 2000 and 5000 a March year closing cash in hand at a March year closing cash at bank but the next month April 1st April this 2000 will be the opening cash in hand for the month of April and this 5000 will be the opening cash at bank for the month of April okay so now see the cash book is balanced I hope you understood thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your precious time I sincerely hope this was helpful and before i fade out please remember knowledge is the most valuable asset so let's share it with others if you don't share a knowledge with others what's the use of a brain loaded with knowledge bye bye take care and stay safe and stay blessed always